Let's start by checking if the tail boom is bent. In this case it was broken, so of course it needs to be re uh, replaced. Um, but normally you can pretty easy see if it's bent in any way. Sometimes you can straighten it out. Uh, I often just uh, choose to replace it uh, as it gets weaker in the bent joints uh, and may break apart and you don't want that. Um, but that's the uh, tail boom. Um, the stabilizing fins are these. Um, as you can see, um, this has actually do have a little crack. It might be difficult to see where it is here. Um, so I'm probably going to change this out. Um, it might not break apart in midair, but I just uh, like to uh, like to know that there is nothing wrong. So I will probably change it. Uh, this one is the other one you need to check. Um, and this one actually do not have any cracks at all, so that's all good. Um, then you need to check if any of the gears are stripped, um, both here, and as you can see I changed it out, because this was pretty clearly stripped. Um, and then you have them in the other end. Uh, normally for me they always strip when, uh, when I have a crash, uh, so I just guess he was lucky uh, with this crash that these didn't get stripped. Um, but they're fine, so no need to change them. Uh, then you need to check if the torque tube uh, is bent or in any way. In this case, again, it was broken, so there was no uh, reason to check if it was bent. It was pretty easily to see that it needed to be changed. Um, then you need to check if your push uh, rod is bent in any way. This again was broken, as you can see this is actually missing the push rod. I might consider changing it to a carbon fiber one, um, so that's why I haven't put any uh, anything on it. So in case I change it to the carbon fiber, these need to be re replaced, uh, but I will get back to that. Um, then you need to check if the tail shaft is bent, which is this one here, normally you can just uh, flip it around um, and see if it jumps up and uh, back and forth. Um, I put this on and spin it at a high speed and there was nothing wrong with it, so not bent. Again, the blades on it wasn't cracked, so it probably uh, hadn't taken any damage, but it could have been bent from a previous crash, you never know, so check that. Um, some other things is if you crack, uh, crack the blades, sometimes small cracks will be in the blade holders. Please check that because it's very dangerous if they crack in midair when they're spinning. Um, but there's nothing wrong with these, so that's all good. And then again, all the bearings, when you have it apart, clean them, re -loop them, check if any of them is noisy when you spin them around, then they just need to be changed. They're dirt cheap, so there's no reason not to do it. Um, and they do get worn over time. So, But that's pretty much it with the tail. It's very uncomplicated. So that's it. Um, check that and uh, then we are ready for the next part.